Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Codings Pro Contractor Awards and AMP Project of the Year Awards presentation. My name is Amir Lazar. I'm uh, the chair of AMP Board of Directors, and I'm honored to be here this afternoon. We are here to recognize and celebrate the outstanding achievements of some of the most talented, hardworking people in our industry. The projects that we will be honoring represent the best of the best. They are the results of countless hours of hard work, creativity, and dedication from project teams and individuals who have gone above the behind and achieved excellence. The importance of these awards cannot be overstated. These awards provide a platform to recognize and celebrate excellence promote best practices and encourage innovation and growth in various fields and industries. By acknowledging and promoting successful projects, such awards help set new standards of excellence, inspires others to strive for greatness and drive to continuous improvement and progress. They also enhance the credibility and reputation of organizations, individuals, and the reputations work and attracting potential clients, investors, and employees. In addition, these awards promote collaboration and learning among industry peers. By participating in award programs, project teams and individuals have the opportunity to share their experiences, learn from others, and develop new ideas and approaches that can drive innovation growth. So, we honor the winners of the AMS Contractor and Product Awards. Let us remember the importance of recognizing and celebrating excellence in our industry. Let us continue to strive for greatness, set new standards, and drive innovation and progress in all that we do. Finally, I want to congratulate all of the nominees who have worked so hard on their projects. Your creativity, innovation and hard work have made a significant contribution to our industry and you should be proud of your achievements. So without further, please welcome Stephanie Chizik, Editor-in-Chief for Codings Pro Magazine to present the M. Codings Pro Contractor Awards. Thank you, Amir. This is Codings Pro Magazine's seventh annual Contractor Awards program, and we are excited to be able to recognize these crews with you all today. Before we begin the awards, I wanna just say a quick thank you to this year's editorial advisory group who judged the submissions in two rounds. This year's judges are Michael Beamish of DeFelsco, Kyle Huff of Champion Specialty Services Provider, Katie Hunt of Bullard, Eric Nenninger of 62 Archer Inspection and Consulting, Emma Schilling of Geico and Jack Fearing of Fearing International Group for the Work It Safe Award. We have also our very own technical editor, Malcolm McNeil, joining us today, who's going to help present the awards. First up, we will award the commercial concrete category. Third place goes to a 30 person crew working to create a wood finish. Despite soft concrete with lots of pinholes, weather concerns and the challenge of getting tools in and out of the job site, this crew prevailed to achieve the desired finish using Sim Iron products. Third place in the commercial concrete category goes to Amato Painting for their wood epoxy floor project, but we will be accepting the award on behalf of Amato. Congratulations to them. Second place in the commercial concrete category goes to a three-person crew working on a garage turn clubhouse completed in the cooler temperatures of early spring and on a lake where debris could blow onto the floor. They used three distinct colors of epoxy from Decocrete Supply to give the client this desired look. Second place in the commercial concrete category goes to Decorative Concrete of Virginia for the Blair Metallic Garage Project. We will again be accepting the award on their behalf, but congratulations to Decorative Concrete of Virginia. That means that first place in the commercial concrete category this year goes to a four to five person crew working with a hand-painted antique stencil on a phased flooring project. 
Despite 20 degree Fahrenheit weather, a crowded job site, and impacts from COVID-19, the crew completed polished and Sika coated floors. First place for 2023 for the second year in a row for the commercial concrete category goes to Hardick Industrial Services for the Madison Square Food Hall Element Eatery Project. And accepting the award on their behalf is Kevin Kipp. Congratulations to Hardick Industrial Services. Next up is the commercial roof category. We have two winners in this year's commercial roofing category. Second place goes to a, a crew working on a 32-story condo here in downtown Denver. Using Castagra products, they're able to offer the client a cost savings recoat rather than a complete re-roof. Despite unusually high winds, this four-person crew prevailed. Second place for the commercial roof category goes to AC Inc. Roofing for the Barclay Towers project. Nick Bennett will be accepting the award on behalf of AC Roofing. Congratulations, AC Roofing. And first place for this year's commercial roof category is to a familiar name. According to the submission, there was only one challenge, designing a roof system that would meet the client's needs, including leak-free and aesthetically pleasing with a natural stone-like finish. Once the system was designed, the process was simple for the six-person crew, which included a coated spray polyurethane foam system from Huntsman. It's the seventh year in a row that this contractor has won an award for Coatings Pros Contractor of the Awards Program, excuse me, for 2023's commercial roof category. Congratulations go to Gary Harvey and the Wedge Roofing Crew for the Napa Vineyard Winery and Tasting Room Project. This is the first year that he's unable to join us, so we're gonna get, let him go for this one. Uh, thank you so much to Wedge Roofing. Next up is this year's industrial concrete category. Third place goes to a 25 person crew working to put an Amazon building in New York back in service within 30 days. There were poor conditions, mastic on the concrete, cracks and missing areas of concrete and joint failures. They used General Polymer's products to protect the concrete. Third place for the industrial concrete category this year goes to tech protective coatings for the DBU9 Amazon project. Zach Carney and Tom Carney will be accepting the award on behalf of Tech Protective Coatings. Congratulations to the tech team. place in the industrial concrete category goes to an eight person crew working in three phases over 20 days to upgrade one location for a well-known supermarket floor. Using CA Reed products, they turned an old fashioned and crushed brick tile floor with failed grouts and low spots into a high performance seamless system. Second place in the industrial concrete category goes to CA Reed for the Wegmans Central Bakery Sourdough Breadline Project. Robert Park will be accepting the award on their behalf. Congratulations again to the CA Reed crew. place for this year's industrial concrete category is awarded for a project rehabbing a waterproofing system beneath a second story practice tank that had begun to fail at the cracks and joints causing the water to leak into the office spaces below. The five person crew coordinated with the GC to apply the Tremco products over the course of four months. First place for this year's industrial concrete category goes to Western Specialty Contractors Minneapolis branch for the waterproofing practice rowing tank at University of Minnesota Boathouse. 
We will be accepting the award on behalf of them, but congratulations go to Western Specialty Contractors, Minneapolis branch. Next up is our industrial steel category. Third place for the category goes to a 12 person crew that only had three weeks to complete the project as full access would be denied afterwards due to the shutdown. They worked around sensitive equipment inside the private hangar and a thermal coupler line that needed to be protected or it could set off foam suppression across the entire building if triggered. The crew cleaned, prepped, primed, and painted with the Sherwin-Williams system. Third place in the industrial steel category goes to Alpine Painting and Sandblasting Contractors for the Meridian Airport Hangar Interior Painting Project. Is there someone in the audience from Alpine Painting? Dimitri! <laughs> Congratulations to Alpine Painting! Your second place winners in the industrial steel category features 20, 22 to 25 crew members working to re-establish the non-skid coating to the wire box and elevator ACE-1 on a nuclear aircraft carrier. The crew worked around five rain days to re-establish an anchor profile before applying systems from international paint to the carbon steel and aluminum substrates. Second place in the industrial steel category goes to Primetime Coatings for the USS Carl Vinson CVN-70 project. Unfortunately, the, for, the winner for this category, used to, he was one of our MVPs from our inaugural MVP award, Johnny Sanchez, and had to do something last minute, he wasn't able to make it. But nevertheless, congratulations to Primetime Coatings. First place in the industrial steel category is awarded for work of 15 to 30 crew members over the course of three years. At 400 feet above the canyon floor, it's one of the highest arch bridges in California and one of the highest bridges in the United States. Not to mention it has a two lane highway with blind curves and speeding cars. This crew had to work around access challenges and the threat of fire from the drought to apply the Sherwin-Williams system. First place this year for the industrial steel category and also the annual Work It Safe Award, which recognizes a crew that promotes and follows safe practices in the field, goes to certified coatings company for the Cold, Cold Spring Canyon Arch Bridge. Steve Howington from Sherwin-Williams will be accepting the awards on their behalf. Congratulations to certified coatings company. the Specialty Project Awards. Third place goes to a four-person crew working over the course of eight weeks to replace the peeling paint on tin walls and ceilings. The walls had holes, areas of rot and rust that were uncovered along the way. They relied on sponge jet products from, for a non-abrasive method and they used Sherwin-Williams products to repair the building. Third place in the Specialty Project category is awarded to Scholar Painting for the Niantic Baptist Church Project. Accepting the award on behalf of Scholar Painting are Vaughn Butler and John Lupacito. Congratulations, Scholar Painting. place goes to an eight-person crew that had to climb 180 feet using rope access skills to coat the fiberglass dome structure housing a casino hotel and restaurants underneath they used Sherwin-Williams products over the course of three months second place goes to base painters for the silver legacy dome painting project accepting the award on behalf of them is Rich Purnell congratulations to base painters
First place in the specialty project category goes to a 10 to 12 person crew working to repair a deteriorated dairy floor with heaving tiles and water infiltration. They had to overcome air quality concerns, necessary chemical decontamination, and daily testing of job site isolation. Using a moisture tolerant epoxy from Summitville, the crew offered substantial revenue savings by having the ability to continue food production throughout the entire installation. First place in the specialty project category this year goes to New York State Industrial Solutions for the Critical Microbial Remediation Solutions Utilizing Coating Technology Project. We'll be accepting the award on their behalf. Congratulations to New York State Industrial Solutions. And last, but obviously not least, is our Contractor and Crew Most Valuable Player Award. The award submission gave a clear outline of the value that this crew member offers to his team. Since joining our crew in 2015, Manny has always been dedicated to upholding our safety and quality standards to deliver successful projects. Today, Manny is one of A&W's top go-to employee owners who always has a smile on his face and would give anyone the shirt off his back. In the field, Manny is an expert at the entire epoxy application process, from abrasive blasting and surface preparation to working with A&W's specialized equipment. He is a willing bilingual participant in training new technicians who have come after him, which has been a great asset in growing A&W as, as a company. With his laid back attitude, he is respected by everyone he works with. Manny is selfless, humble, and hardworking employee owner and is a valued member of the A&W family. For the second year in a row, the MVP award goes to A&W Maintenance Coatings, but this year's award is for the work of Manny Ruiz Reyes for the Dam Con Con Conduit Re Rehabilitation and Improvement Project. Congratulations to Manny. Thank you for joining us for Coatings Pros 2023 Contractor Awards Program. Let's give all the winners one more big round of applause. <laughs>